Hey y'all, Texas Beekeeper here. So today I'm gonna go back through some of these uh, mating nukes that I set some queen cells in. And we're just gonna check and make sure there was emergence and check to see if the queens made it back. Might be a little on the early side, but we're gonna take a peek. It's for science, right? So we got one, two, three, four. I think this one I've already cold I've, I've said that one's not any good it looked like uh, it never emerged and this was a week or two ago this one I think was okay we'll check so one two three four maybe five and then one behind y'all maybe six there was one here on the ground behind y'all that was no good so out of four five six seven eight two of those i know were no good now some of these may not be and then we've got one down uh where the uh the uh, cell builder was and so that's one too we can go check uh, but for right now we're going to check these four that one i'll peek in the other one make sure i'm right and then the one behind y'all here uh let's see what we got I'm going to attempt to just leave the camera where it's at and check all of these just in place. See if we can do it. All right. Not too bad. A little bit. And remember, these are, <clears throat> these are mating nukes, so I make these a lot weaker. Um, not, uh, you know, not expecting them to be powerhouses but wanting them to have enough resources and bees to look at that we got a wax moth larvae we don't want that uh so that's what happens when they get weak so there's maybe a reason not to do this but all right so they've got some nectar here Got some bees. I don't think we should see eggs yet. Yeah. Probably a little early for eggs. We got a little cup here. Looked like it was empty. So right now I'm looking for possibly a virgin queen. I got a little bit of a ball over here. Oh, it's a little bit of honey there. So don't don't see it there. Go in this next one. So most all of these are going to be probably two framers. There's the uh, cup, the cell cup that she came out of. Uh, yeah, there's eggs in here. So we've got a mated queen already. Yeah, I was wondering if it might be too soon, but we're about right on time. So <clears throat> I don't see her. But that doesn't mean she's right in front of my nose. She could be right there and I'm just missing her. Uh, I'm going to try to show the camera. Come from behind here. And just all around the to the right of that cell cup. Wherever you can see a gap. You can kind of hopefully see that there's eggs in there. Yeah, 
mostly mostly on this side to, to the middle but I still don't see her um, you know we found eggs so not a huge deal but for the sake of the video I'd like to show y'all Go back to this other side. Okay, here she is. Oh, she's a beauty. So she's dancing between sides, but see her right here at the bottom? She's a good looking one. Reddish stripe. Nice looking queen. She's doing good. We're gonna put her back. Uh, she's on this side. All right, I'm stoked. Not only did we see a queen, but we saw a mated queen. That is awesome. I really don't think I was expecting mated. I think, sure, it's always good to have it, but I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it yet, I don't think. So let's see. See what we got here. Maybe we can get lucky again. A lot of nectar, that's good to see. Oh, here she is. So we got a queen just went from the bottom so here she is see her kind of right by my thumb right now another good looking one she's uh not quite as red but beautiful queen beautiful good size on her she looks good nice abdomen all right let's see if we got eggs on here that one's all nectar but maybe we got eggs here. She, she looks like a mated queen, I'll tell you that. Just that size. And we have eggs here. We do have a few eggs here. Let me come around. All right. So if you look around these cells, not as easy to see probably they're there though in this area here I hope you're picking it up in the camera There's some down here looks like she probably just got mated So anyways, awesome, two, uh, two for two, this is, this is awesome. So I do want to point out again that I did, I mean, I had failures, not necessarily in, in mating, but in emerging, right? So like I said a second ago, there was out of the four, five, six, seven, eight, one two of those did not even emerge right so uh colonies either got too weak or you know the queen the queen just never emerged so i i pulled those um i gave some of the resources to uh, so here here here's one <clears throat> this one i don't think i even expected to be but look at this see this is uh empty comb so we're, we're going to give that to one of these other colonies. This one was getting robbed out, you can tell. So, you know, I mean, it happens. It happens. Uh, you know, this is, this is one I actually expected to be good, right? Um, last I could remember, it was fine. So, you know, just goes to show stuff like that happens. Uh, but all we're going to do is 
going to donate this to a, another colony and uh, hopefully they can prosper from it. Uh, that's the ideal anyways. And let's see if this one could use something because we know both of these are mated. So now this is a pretty good one. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that and make sure she's not on the lid here. Close them up. Okay. And uh, so yeah, so like I was like I was just saying, uh, it's not all success. You've got failures. You've got failures, and that was one. So now we're looking at out of eight we've got three that i'm pretty sure failed i'm pretty sure that one over there failed and i know this one did so okay thank goodness this one has bees so that's good but uh yeah and you know it's kind of a kind of right at that time so our flow just ended and uh, you know, I had actually extracted already and put my uh, extracted frames and, and wax cappings and stuff out. And uh, yeah, the bees were all over it. So, you know, it's no wonder that this weak colony that I'm sitting on um, could have got robbed out, you know? It, it was just, it was too weak. You know, didn't even have an established queen. And, uh, you know, it just happens. It happens. And so here's the cup that she emerged out of. Um, so I forgot we had queens already. I'm, I should be looking for eggs. Not seeing eggs here. Uh, but, you know, this could be one. She could still not be mated. She could be out on a on a flight if I don't see her or I could just miss her but uh, I'm not not seeing a mated queen so you know this one could be a failure too you never know but you know like I say it's been it's a numbers game and you can't win if you don't play so there are bees in there Just double checking for a queen. Yeah, I don't don't see her. So I think this one either is a failure or just hasn't come back yet. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it could go either way. I'm gonna give them this frame just to fill that space in. But, uh, okay, so we were two for three, one failure here, this one's still yet to be determined, so we'll go ahead and move on to these other ones. All right, so this one I believe, yeah, this one's got bees, that's good news, uh, think the one I'm sitting on is empty I, I believe if I remember correctly I gave them resources I'm gonna just stand over here behind the hive but yeah I think I gave them resources some nectar we got what looks like
what looks like ripped open wax caps. Let me make sure these aren't, it doesn't look like they're getting robbed. Maybe they opened them? I don't know, let's see. Yeah, this was a frame donated from the other. There's the queen cell that never emerged from this other one. Uh, A lot of dead pupae just didn't make it because it didn't have the bee coverage over there. They got, you know, they got uh, either either evacuated. They got, oh, here's the queen right here. Look at her. She's a kind of a lighter color. It's kind of nice. Right here by my thumb. It's kind of a pretty pretty queen there so she's here she's looking she could be mated she looks a little skinny but eh, it could have just happened I'm not seeing eggs where'd she go I just lost her just lost sight of her oh there she is okay all right, she's looking in the cells like she's mated. Make sure. Yeah. I want to make sure I see her when I put this back because I don't want... Here she is on the corner. Okay, she's coming around. Boy, she's a hard one to spot. Are y'all spotting her quicker than me? Because, man, I don't see her. I don't really want to just put her back until I can see where she's at. I mean, I guess I can just be careful all directions, but... Okay, there she is. Going down. All right. And we're just gonna peek at this one. Make sure there's no eggs. Yeah, I don't... I don't see eggs, eggs yet, so if she's mated, she just got mated. Uh, you know, <clears throat> she hadn't, she hadn't started laying. The way she was peeking though, peeking down in those cells, looks like she might be mated. So that's kind of kind of cool to see. Uh, we're gonna call it a success for now. We still, I mean, we still have a queen. So uh, let's go check the last. Well, maybe second to last. I'll go check the one down at the road. Okay, this one should be good with bees. Yep. Looks nice. A little, a little stronger than some. All right, just a little bit of wax, nothing there. Checking for a queen where we won't expect her. It's happened before. I've got already a lot of field bees, so I moved this colony because it was up high. And I've already got field bees coming back, probably looking for this. So I'm gonna try to hurry. Oh, queen right there. Right at the top middle. Well, hopefully y'all can see her. She's a good one, good looking queen. 
Uh, and we have eggs. So, let's see if y'all can see the eggs. And then here's the queen right here, in the bottom corner, going around. So, I'm gonna put her back. Like I said, the flying force is coming for her. So because of that, I'm gonna get, get them back where, get them back where they can get back in their home as quick as possible. Perfect. All right. Okay, so this is the cell builder colony that we originally built the cells in. This was a uh, double, double deep uh, five frame matey nuke. So the top is where I had the uh, cell frame, the queen cells that I grafted, and then surrounded by four frames of nurse bees. Well, it was at one point it was emerging brood. Uh, and then down below we had more emerging brood plus uh, nurse bees and then you know some worker force that was already present in the colony uh, after 13 days of having the emerging brood that's when I grafted into here so this was a super strong uh, mating nuke or excuse me super strong cell builder at the time that I grafted and it still could have even been stronger uh, and I think the success would have even been greater. I had 11 out of 15. I only did 15. I don't need a ton of queens right now. So I did 15 and out of those I had 11. And uh, uh, so had I've done two two bars, uh, 30, you know, it may, may have dropped to maybe I would have only got 20 total. You know, you never know. Uh, but, you know, you always, always, always go strong on your cell builder uh, rather than not you're, you're not going to regret having too many bees but you will regret not having enough uh, it's going to waste your time grafting uh, um, you may get zero acceptance or very low acceptance uh, whereas the more bees you have the more pollen you have the more nectar you have they have everything they need there to make good queens to make the royal jelly to feed the queens and to take care of them so always go strong on this if there's anything i learned that's it from this from this time grafting like i said is my fourth or fifth time previous times i i wasn't set up i had a queenless colony but it was just basically just a queenless colony um never did i really build it up i mean you know i may made sure it had some young emerging brood maybe but I, I didn't pack it full like i did this one and again like i said this one i could have even done more um you know i, I could have given them i could have given them a lot more nurse bees and it wouldn't have hurt one bit um so definitely if you're looking for improving success that's my number one tip just go strong on your builder make sure it's got plenty of nurse bees you won't regret it and then like i like i did when i split this down i've got all the cells and now it's time to put those cells out then i had all those frames of nurse bees i mean you could go a triple i may do that next year go a triple uh, with nurse bees you know put eight frames of nurse bees you won't you won't regret it i promise and then when it comes time to split your many many cells because you're going to have a good uh success rate You've got all these bees, all these nurse bees that are going to stay put where you put them in a, in a new mating nuke. It's perfect. Perfect recipe. Perfect recipe for making bees. So if there's one thing I learned, that's it. All right. So see, this is still a very strong colony. Very strong colony. And I am going to check the lid because we could have a queen now. They're about done with this pollen pollen sub can't quite grab it okay so hopefully y'all can still see that yeah 
Looks good. I'm gonna try my best. Let me smoke these girls just a little bit. <clears throat> so, we're just gonna go through, look and see what we got. I haven't really been in here in a while, especially not down below. Uh, since pretty early on. So a lot of nectar here, a lot of nectar there, got a bee in my veil, you know, I probably don't need it. Alright, so I'm not sure where it cut off, but right now we're still looking for a queen. This thing may be overheating. Maybe I, I'm, I'm hating GoPro right now because of that. But basically to be fast, I'm looking for a queen. Uh, I've said that we've got eggs and nothing but eggs. Eggs and capped emerging brood. So that tells me every egg in here is from our queen. And I'm determined to find her because I know she's in here because we see no larvae if i saw larvae then maybe we could have like a lane worker going on because see there's drone cells here but i think these drone cells were pulled from from another colony uh when i was looking for brood i was just all i was looking for was brood with uh immer with bees nurse nurse bees excuse me uh, so either open brood at the time with lots of bees or emerging brood. Uh, two different stages of building this. So, at this time, I'm still convinced, all right, we're still recording. I'm still convinced there's a queen here somewhere because I am seeing eggs. I showed the camera and I hope y'all saw that. There's eggs all up on here. I'm basically saying that I'm gonna look until I find a queen. Cause I'm really that confident that there's a queen in here. But now I'm not so sure. So I'm doubting myself. No, I'm still pretty certain. Not seeing it.
I'm going to even check this one. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna throw in the towel and give up. Cause I'm not, not seeing a queen like I thought I would. So, all right, apologize for wasting your time. I'm gonna look one more time at these. Okay, I'm throwing in the towel. I I don't know. I really thought I would have seen her just based on what we saw, but hey, win some, you lose some. There are eggs in there though, so I'm gonna see what those turn out to be. You know, it's still possible. I'm, mi I'm just missing the queen, you know? I could be skipping past her. So, anyway, sorry for wasting all time on that. Uh, I, I do think there is a queen. I will report back one way or the other. But uh, thank you all for watching. And have a good day.